Good evening, my dear students. So welcome to module two of MMW or Mathematics in the Modern World. So this particular module will be divided into four, four subparts. So on the first one, as you can see here, we will we will talk about inductive reasoning. And on the second one, siempre make a partner yon, no? deductive reasoning. On the third part of the series of the lecture series, we will try to summarize by um, comparing yung inductive and deductive reasoning. And then finally, on the fourth one, I will teach you about Ken-Ken puzzle. Okay, so later on you will know what is this Ken-Ken puzzle and how do I solve one? How do I finish a Ken-Ken puzzle? This module is entitled Problem Solving and Reasoning. So last time, I told you that each in each module, pag-uusapan natin yung isang misconception about mathematics na we will try to debunk or to prove wrong. So last time, ang ating dinibunk ay yung idea na ang mathematics ay nasa classroom lamang, walang halaga sa buhay o walang um, gamit sa tunay na buhay, real-life application. And we were able to disprove that by discussing about the Fibonacci sequence and um, exponential growth, diba? most relevant today because of the pandemic. So right now, we will focus on the title, Problem Solving and Reasoning. Kasi po, um, we will have uh, about three ideas that we will debunk. First one is, ang mat po kasi ay about doon, problem solving and reasoning. But the problem is, kapag nakita tayo ng bata na magaling mag-add ng fraction, halimbawa, or mabilis mag-mental arithmetic, tinatawag na natin agad siya magaling sa mat. Diba? So, it brought about a misconception na kapag magaling kang mag-handle ng numbers, automatically, um, you're already good in math. But that's actually wrong. A good mathematician ay hindi yung isang tao na magaling mag-handle or mag-solve ng numbers, but a person who is capable of using critical thinking, diba? logical reasoning. Can that, can that person solve a problem in a logical way? In a way that makes sense mathematically? in a creative way. So mathematics is really about problem solving and reasoning, a large portion of it. Next one, the next idea is may isa lang paraan para mapagsolve ng problem. So definitely this is this is true. There are multiple ways in which you can solve a problem. Dumating yung idea na to sa atin kasi when we were taught mathematics, akala natin yung solution lang yung teacher yung tama, di ba? So, akala natin, if mag-divert tayo doon sa way o proseso ng guro, we will be marked wrong, di ba? And, in, and it implanted an idea to us that, ay, if hindi ko makuha yung process ni teacher, I will not get a good score or I will not be correct. But that's wrong. In mathematics, you can approach a problem in different way. You did this when you were young. For example, when you were having addition lesson, di ba, nung grade 1 ka, some of you, mabilis. Kumbaga, nagagawa agad niya yung proseso ni teacher. Yung may carry one, may plus sign, di ba? Plusing vertically. But some are, or will take the slower approach. Maglilinya-linya sila, di ba? Maglilinya-linya sila ng madami. That's, well, they are tallying, binibilang nila. So they can figure out ano yung sum ng dalawang numbers. And that's still a correct approach because it will yield the same answer. Yun nga lamang, mas mabagal siya. So definitely, there's a multiple ways to approach a math problem. Okay? The third one is, hindi ka magaling sa math pag hindi ka mabilis mag-solve ng problem. Solving mathematical problem actually takes time. Okay? So, Ibig sabihin, hindi lang, sa, hindi lang para sa mga gifted ang math. It's for everyone that are, that's, that's willing to learn it. Hindi dahil mabilis siya mag-solve as ikaw mabagal. Ay, hindi ako magaling sa math. Ayoko na ng subject na to. So that's wrong. Even if it took you longer time, but you applied um, logical reasoning, critical thinking, you can still be called or you can still call yourself a mathematician. Okay? So hopefully, at the end of the module, we can reflect 
on this uh, misconceptions and evaluate if totoo ba or meron ba tayong ganitong misconception in our mind. Okay? So to go back to the first um, video lecture now that I have told you about the objective of this one. So for the first um, lecture of the series, it will be about inductive reasoning. So to introduce the concept, I am presenting you right now a series of numbers. And gusto kong um, alamin mo what will be what will be the next one? Okay, what will be the next item in the series? I'll give you a moment. Okay, so pause if you still want to answer, but maybe some of you have figured it out, diba? Right? You can see 5 and then 11, 11 and then 17 and so on. What if I subtract yung magkakatabing numbers? I discovered that you will get 6 in all of them. So nakakita ka ng patterns, di ba? Mathematics is the science of patterns. So definitely, you will, you will arrive at a conclusion, di ba? Out of these examples or out of this observation, you will arrive at a correct conclusion that the next item is 41. How about this one? Okay, pause the video if you still want to answer, but maybe you figured it out, no? Nakita mo na, ah, 5 minus 3, 2, if I'm going to use the trend from a while ago. Pero susunod 4. So hindi pare-pares yung difference nila. Susunod 6. But definitely you're observing the pattern, right? 8, 10. So definitely, the difference between 33 and the next number should be 12. So I should add 12 to 33. The item is 45. So you observe, you get a pattern, and out of this specific observation, you arrive at a conclusion, which is the next 